She... she's waking up. Then put her back to sleep. I... I don't know if we should... I don't care. Increase her dosage. Now. We're running out of time. She needs to be ready. Now. I'm fully aware. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Um... Hold on tight, Thea. <sighs> Just... do it. It's gonna be alright. This will all be over soon. been not fun and weird so time to put an end to whatever this nonsense is
Come on! Is that... it? Or is that a... Admission trial what? complete! Uh... Okay... <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> Analyzing performance... Please stand by. Name, Thea Imani. Age, 16. Majolica. Specialty, light manipulation. Uh... Performance analyzation complete. Thea, your shard is being generated. Please stay where you are. I, I'm sorry, but who are you? You're actually the first person to ask me about that during initiation. Everyone else simply waits for their shard and then moves on. Uh-huh. Usually, I have to wait for the first class to have myself properly introduced. But since you've now asked, I'm Elsa. Elsa? Like the Elsa from those Diddley movies? Yes, both their names sound the same, but they're actually written slightly differently. Uh, okay. So, um... Elsa, what's going on here? Like, what is happening? Oh, I just finished analyzing your performance and your shard is now being generated. <laughs> what? I'm... confusion. Shard generation complete. Oh. Sorry, that was a systematic message. Many have complained about it being too loud, but it never gets adjusted. Anyway, would you like to have your shard as a necklace? Um, what? Displaying your shard as a necklace is the default option, but if you prefer other accessory items, such as a fanny pack or an eye patch, I could do that as well. Uh, I guess... necklace is fine? You got it! So, uh... What is this for? Initiation oh. procedure complete. That is way too loud. Sorry about that. I'll put your feedback in the record. Feedback deleted. You are now free to go and begin your journey here. <laughs> what? Welcome to Everston Academy, Thea. <laughs> Hello? Hello? El... Sa? Um... Thea, is it? Mm -hmm. Take a seat. Uh. Okay. Everything's looking pretty nice. I I'm sorry, but where am I? We're in an interview room. No, I mean, where am I? Like, what is all this? What do you mean? Well, I 
don't know where I am. Got no idea how I ended up here. The only things that I remember are fighting that giant crystal crab and talking to a robot named after a diddly character? Oh. So you're saying that you don't remember anything? Yeah. I suppose that is the logical deduction here. Huh. Well, I did notice that during the trial, there was a moment you got your head hit pretty hard. You might have had a concussion. Right. I do remember getting hit pretty hard. Well, that's it then. A concussion. You had a concussion and it causes temporary memory loss. Okay. Well, it's actually quite normal. A lot of students have had different degrees of concussion from the trial in the past. Uh-huh. But just to be extra safe, let me run a quick check on you. Here. Nothing. I got nothing. You're fine. It's just a concussion. Don't worry. I can assure your memories are gonna come back. Probably within the day. Alright. Then I guess. Until they come back. Care to tell me anything that I should know right now? Oh, of course. Well... You're in Everston Academy. Everston Academy? That's the school you've been talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Honey, that's perfect for you. It's where you're meant to be. And you just completed your admission trial and received your sword, and now you're being debriefed by me. So... I'm in a school. Yes. And you're not just in any school. You're in one of the best institutions for people like yourself. A Majelica. Well, it's for ciphers too. Our school is very inclusive. You know what a cipher is, right? There are people with no magical powers, but they should still be treated. No, I know what ciphers are and how they should be treated. Good. I guess that means you'll have no need to go to our seminars on cipher decency. Um, so, you said I completed a trial. Was it the thing with the crystal crab? Now, we have a different name for it, but uh, yes, that was your admission trial. Okay, so what's that for? Well, it was something we implemented a few years ago to confirm and evaluate the specialties and overall capabilities of our new admissions. We wanted to make sure what we have is the cream of the crop. Gotcha. Huh. Okay. Uh, things are starting to click, I guess. I don't know, it still feels kind of weird and overwhelming hearing all this when I don't even remember anything about it, you know? I get how that can be unsettling, but that feeling will be over soon. All you need to know is that you did great, and it's only uphill from here. Because this is where you're meant to be. Not now, Joey! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's get you to class. And here it is. Now off you go.
Hi, my name is Boba. So nice to meet you. What is your name? Oh. Pleasure meeting you, my lady. I'm Flint the Stone Johnson. And you must be. Um. I'm. I'm Thea. Thea? Name Thea Imai. Thea Imai. <laughs> Um, well, nice seeing you here, Thea. I'm Zephyrin. I like your hair. It reminds me of Tibushiki so many I once had. So, this is Echo. And that's... Melanie. They're twin sisters. I think. It was hot. And they were cold. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I can't figure out what they're saying most of the time either. I barely caught their names. Do you like bubbles? Would you like to be bubbled? I can put you into a bubble. Uh, what? Boba, not everyone likes to be bubbled at your first meeting. She didn't say no. I didn't hear her <gasps> say no. Oh, oh my god. I I'm sorry, but am I seeing things or do you have the white shard? She does indeed. It's shining. It's shimmering. It's splendid. Oh, so you're the one. Tell me, do you happen to accept what the prejudices? What did you do with the trial exactly I to get this? I had a collection in my dream. It was lost. In all, you can pay you in cash. Full of mail. Right now. What creature did you face in your trial? Was it a lake monster too? To take you to the fanciest Michelin three-star restaurants. Me dad had to Your face is looking paler than the shard. Are you uncomfortable? <gasps> oh, are you okay? Was it me? Did I say something wrong? Uh, no, I'm... <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't get to bubble her. Okay, I'm gonna start the procedure. It's going to be fine, Thea. I promise. It won't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna be seeing you during the holidays, right? It's going to be fine, Thea. You can have a great time ever since, sweetie. It won't hurt. Just to be clear, I'll be seeing you during the holidays, right? Aw, oh, I get it. You're used to being here. But everything's gonna be fine, Thea. You're gonna have a great time at Everston, sweetie. It's where you're meant to be. Uh, hey. What? Whoa, 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 relax. I'm, I'm just here to say hi. Oh. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Aiden. Uh, hey, Aiden. I'm, uh, I'm Thea. <laughs> um, I know this might sound kind of odd, but uh, have we met? Before? <laughs> I... I don't think so. Why? I don't know. I just had this weird feeling when you walked in. Felt like I'd seen you before. Oh. That's... Uh, weird. I know. It's probably just me. I've just been having this weird feeling ever since I got here. No. I get it. I've been getting that feeling too. <laughs> Probably because I hit my head and had a concussion during the trial. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, during my trial, 
I fell from a cliff, uh, landed in water, and passed out for like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> what? Uh, really? Yeah. I uh, don't really remember the details. Probably a good thing, I guess, because who really wants to remember an embarrassing moment like that, am I right? <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad. I mean, hey, look at you. You're here now. That means you got through the trial. True, true. You are absolutely right. I, I did get through it. I guess I should be grateful that I'm here, huh? You probably should. And the same goes to me as well, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Do you need help breaking the ice? Oh, whoa! Hey. Huh. Hi. I'm zero, like the number, with an X. And you must be... Oh, I'm... Wait, let me guess. It's, um, M Melissa? It's Thea. Oh, dang, I was so close. But Thea is just a fitting name for a cool girl like you. Well, <laughs> but thanks for the compliment. So, what are you guys talking about? You and... Andy? <laughs> it's Aiden. We met like less than 10 minutes ago. Sure, Aaron. Oh wow, I almost didn't notice. But I see you got the white shirt, huh? Oh, this? <laughs> Honestly, I don't- Don't act too surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. I just sort of slayed the admission trial and gracefully received this beautiful necklace. Excuse me? <laughs> you! Uh, me? Yes, you! How did you get that? Get what? The white shard, Obs. Um, I could ask you the same question, honestly. Uh, th th but I asked first! I just got it, okay? Probably the same way as how you did. <laughs> There's no way! <gasps> I see how it is. You cheated! What? You bribed someone. Excuse me? <gasps> you brought White out with you! That's how you did it! <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, I get it. I was gonna do the same thing on my shard if they gave me a regular basic one. But obviously, I didn't have to resort to that. What are you even talking about? Why are you making such a big deal out of this necklace shard situation? What's so special about it anyway? <gasps> If you have to ask about it, you do not deserve to have one. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you hit your head or something before you walked oh, in? Oh, I am certainly not okay. Someone like you having a white what shark? What do you mean by someone like you? Well, a bona fide fake obs. Are you slow? Excuse me? Who do you think you are? I haven't even are? had the first class, and we're getting some feisty drama already? You know I'm living for it. But girls, let's save the drama for later. Get to your seats, everyone. If you don't know where to sit, just find an empty chair. After all, I'm here to teach, not to baby sit. Welcome, everyone. I know you all must be very, very excited for the first day of school. So, let's get this started, shall we? apply to be part of the world's most prestigious academic institution. But very few can make the cut. So, congratulations on making it this far. But, don't get too excited. 
Because this is just the beginning. You are here, not because of luck or chance, but because of excellence and dedication. You are here, not just to get by while simply learning the basics and never breaking free of the ordinary. You're here to push your limits, refine your craft, and become the most extraordinary versions of yourselves. So, be prepared and stay ready because as you look around, you'll see the challenges you're about to encounter and the competition you will be facing. Always set your sights on becoming the brightest burning star in the sky. Keep that in mind. And the next few years you spend here will be worthwhile. As I have already said, this is just the beginning. So, let's hope you end up being the ones that make it to the end. Alright class, that was the head of the comp, in case you didn't know already. Quite the speech, right? Huh, she really is. The bomb.com. <laughs> that was a good one. I should write that down. I'm sorry, but... May I say something, Mr. Moody? Oh, no. Dang it! You said my name, Jada. I had this whole introductory joke planned, and you just... Ruined it. So for that, no, you don't get to speak your mind. Well, at least not until I'm done talking. But it is nice to finally see you here as a student, Jada. Well, as it has been prematurely revealed, I'm Mr. Moody, Malcolm Moody, the mood you'll be having for most of your time here, because I'm your class teacher. Tough crowd here, huh? Loosen up, guys. You don't have to be so moody, okay? <clears throat> well, okay. So I know it's just the first day and you've all done a lot already in the trial, but I hope you're prepared for what's coming next. <clears throat> A two-hour examination that requires you to write a 50-page essay using dark magic lingual. Whoa, what the frick? I'm sorry. And a four-hour practical test that involves intense combat between you guys. So I'll be needing all of you to sign an NDA and a DNR. Parent signature not required because you might die at the end of this. This is a joke. Oh, right? oh my God, I, I thundered again. I thought I had that under control now. S -s Sorry. <laughs> Can I at least try out the food here in the cafeteria first? I'm a food critic on felt. I'm sorry, but this has to be done right now to get you guys to respond to me. <laughs> I got you all so good, oh am I right? <laughs> Very I funny, Teach. Stop from I talking about my stuff because so of this. Stupid. Anyway, you guys are actually in luck because this first class you're having right now isn't really a class. We all get to just chill for a bit as we're just gonna go over some general school administration stuff. As I'm your class teacher, you can always come to me with school related issues. My office is either on the second floor or the third floor, depending on the time of day. Just don't come to my office between three to 3.30 cause that's when I'm usually in the mood for eating my donuts. And if it happens that you can't find me at my office, you can most likely find me at the barn. The barn is behind the greenhouse near the Black Forest. Mr. Moody, no offense, but I think there's something uh, uh, uh. more in- Not now, Missy. I'm not done speaking yet. <laughs> if you fail to find me in my office or in the barn, 
or you just don't feel like walking on a particular day, you can always get help from our school's latest edition that I'm pretty sure you've all met during the trial already, the wickedly talented, the hyper-intelligent, the one and only Everston Learning Student Assistant. You want to say something? Oh, I was just trying to conceal. Don't feel. Don't let them know. But well, now they know. So I guess it's time to let it go. That sounds oddly familiar. Hi everyone. I'm the Everston Learning Student Assistant. But you can call me... Elsa? Yes, Thea, that is my name. I'm so glad that you remember. Oh, so you two know each other pretty well already. Uh, sort of, I guess. Thea asked about me earlier, and because of that, we formed a bond that is relatively closer than the ones that were formed between me and the other students. Are you a real person? I am not Boba. Are you a robot? Nope. I don't even have a physical form. So you're an artificial intelligence? Yes, Boba. Consider me a vessel of knowledge and information designed to help you all during your time here. So if you have a question to ask, just say my name and I'll be there. Okay. I do need to mention that while questions never bothered me anyway, the heat does. I don't work well under hot temperatures, so that's why you will be less likely to find me outside of my ice castle which is anywhere that doesn't have access to air conditioning. Well, I sure hope this is not going to be an issue. Don't worry, you're not the first fire-powered student to come here. Just keep your flames off me, and you'll be good, Vulcan. All right, guys, you heard it. If you want to talk to Elsa, the ice queen, you got to make sure where you're at is ice Oh my god, we get it. We can ask questions. So can I, like, finally ask my question? I was gonna finally let you do that. So, yeah. Good. My question is simple. I just want to know, why are we allowing a con artist in here? Oh, come on. A con artist? What? I'm not a con artist. I'm nothing of the sort. Mr. Moody, she is clearly of that sort. Look at how she's reacting. And and also, her seemingly real but clearly fake necklace. She must have cheated or something to get that, because I know for sure there can't be two white shards in the same class. Well, yours must be fake then, because you seem to be the only one here that cares about whether or not the necklace is real. <laughs> Maybe because you know dang well that you're the one who's a fraud with a fake <gasps> How necklace. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? Do you have any idea who Honestly, I am? Honestly, I don't really care who you are. All I know <gasps> is that you are me? probably a pathological liar me, living I in some whoa, delusional whoa, fantasy. Whoa, 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 Hold your horses, ladies. Jada, Thea, both of the white shards you guys have on are real and deservedly earned. What? This doesn't make any sense to my French vanilla fantasy. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Moody, if you don't mind, I'd like to hear an explanation about this whole white shard thingy. Because honestly, I feel pretty lost right now. All right. I gotcha. Explanation. Well, as some of you might have known already, a few years ago, our school implemented the EACS system. The what now? Wow. I thought you would know that at least. I guess I missed orientation. Hence my point. How did someone who has no idea what the EACS system is get the white shard? Well, technically, you don't need to know anything about the system itself to get the white shard. So, what's the EAC, uh, DC, um, uh, that system exactly? You want to share what the system is all about, Jada? since you seem to know all about it. <laughs> of course. The EACS system stands for Everston Academy Color Shard System. Each student gets a shard of a unique color as a part of the school uniform. During the admission trial, each student's performance is being evaluated in three color-coded areas, with red representing strength, blue representing intelligence, and green representing agility. The overall rating a student received in the trial will be reflected on the color of the shard. Couldn't explain it better myself. So, to piggyback off of what was just said, each of you gets a shard of a unique color based on how you did in the earlier trial. For example, Jolton here, 
he has a bright yellow shard, which means he can throw a great punch and move really, really fast, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. But he might also want to get better at using his head and incorporating what he learns into combat. Basically saying that you're missing a couple wrinkles in your brain. And back to you two. Getting the white shard means you've excelled in all of the areas we're evaluating and are considered the top of the class. And usually, there's only one per class. But this year, we've got two. <laughs> oh. What? I'm at the top? Uh-uh, I demand a retrial. I ain't sharing a title with her. <laughs> you think I want to share a title with you either? Well, too bad. You two are gonna have to deal with the code number one situation <gasps> for now. Excuse me? Don't worry. This situation may change during your next evaluation, which you will be made aware of in due time. For now, just focus on how to get even better than you already are. Cause you don't want to be the next one out. The next, next one out? What, what do you mean by that, Mr. Moody? Well, you see, there were about 100 people doing the admission trial. And there's less than 40 of you here right now, so... Oh, so you're saying the number is gonna get smaller? Yep. I love all of your beautiful faces, and I'd very much like to keep seeing them every day. Except for weekends. <laughs> so keep working hard, and make sure you don't let your shard turn black. What do you mean by that, Mr. Moody? Don't worry about it. For now. What you guys should worry about now is your next class! From Combat Essentials to Defense 101, Calm Encrypted Studies to Advanced Potion Brewing, Dark Magic Spells and Rituals to Practical Magic Application, you'll be able to learn everything you need to become the very best. Like no one ever was. <laughs> huh. Well, anyway, to cater to each of your individual needs, you'll be attending specifically assigned classes which are reflected on your personalized timetable. Oh my god, ew! My very first class here is World History 101? Ooh, big oof. Big oof indeed. Yo, what does this mean by M and C here? Oh, I'm glad you pointed that out. If a class has M and C next to it, that means the class will be attended by both Majilicas and Cyphers. What? Yep. Some of the classes here are, uh, like that. After all, we're one of the very few schools out there that allows stuff like that, so... <laughs> Guess we will be having our first class with a bunch of losers. Oof. Tell me about it. Alrighty. You all heard it. It's time. Enjoy your first day here, everyone, and I'll see you all around very soon. This is what you've always wanted, sweetie. I'm so happy for you. You're going to do great. I can just tell. This is where you're meant to be. Yeah, look at it while you still can. All it'll take is one slip up and you'll be beneath me. Right where you belong. I guess it's game on now, huh? Just so you know. I place my bet for you to win this race. You okay? Yeah, I am. You sure? Not gonna lie, it still feels surreal to be here. But I believe this is where I'm meant to be. And... I'm ready. For history? Oh, right. 
we're having that first, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm real excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Teachers. I heard one of the history teachers here is a total hank. I wonder, is he the one teaching this class? Well, if that's the case, at least there's something to look forward to from this class of mediocre misfits. Hey! Just to be clear, I don't consider myself mediocre. Ugh, not like us, you dolt. Take a look around. Uh, oh, you're talking about the ciphers. Excuse me? I'm sorry, she didn't mean to. Hmm. Ren, what are you doing? What? I'm sitting, waiting for class to start. Here? Uh, uh, why don't we sit at the back? I don't want to sit at the back. Ren, come on. I don't want to sit at the back. I actually want to see, okay? If you want to sit at the back, then suit yourself. Ren, Just but... go sit at the back already. I... You're in my seat, Cypher. <laughs> Is that so? Hmm, I don't see a nameplate anywhere. Oh, I was sitting here. I just went to refill my water bottle. Hmm, you should have left your bag or something here. Take your little bottle and go find another seat. You think this is a joke, Cypher? No. Oh, you! Ren, go pick that up, and let's just sit at the back. No, I'm not gonna. I refuse to let some entitled douchebag who thinks he owns the place push me around. Ren, I, I get that, but can you just stop, please? When I came in, the seat wasn't occupied. I sat in the seat, and it became my seat, because I sat in it. Simple as that. The problem here is this brick-headed idiot. All right, listen here, you little piece Hey, of mind if I sit here? Sure, that seat isn't taken. That's Vulcan seat. V Vulcan who? Was there a name engraved on the desk or something? Because I don't see it. What the? You mother- Come on, bro. You're not seriously fighting over a seat with a cipher, right? Ah. <sighs> Whatever. Go on. Get lost. What a jerk, right? I'm sorry you have to deal with that. I don't need your pity, Majelica. I wasn't trying to... <sighs> okay. Bioba! Finally! What took you so long? My bathroom stall door was stuck for a while, and the floor was slippery. I had to walk slow. Ah, 
Well, get over here. I saved your seat. Okay. Hey, watch this. <gasps> Zero? No! Oh, a sparkle. Neat. Oh, seriously? Why'd you ruin that? It would have been hilarious. No, Zero. That's mean. And immature. <laughs> you guys have no sense of humor. It's not like he was gonna slip, break all of his neck, and die. <gasps> oh boy. <sighs> That's not the history, Hank. Should have just turned in the letter. I've been playing golf at the Pine Valley GC right now. Okay, who did this? Okay, what do we have here? Right, this is World History 101. Quite the snooze fest, I'm sure some of you were thinking. But sadly, there's no way out of this. You're stuck with this garbage just like I am. I'll be teaching this class for the whole term. You can call me Mr. Elderman. Elderman? Haha, <laughs> that's funny, Jolton. Clearly you're not as dumb as Mr. Moody thinks. <laughs> Thanks. Hey! That's the best you can think of? It's a new low. Can't believe I woke up for this. This is the book we'll be reading in the first few classes. For the very first class, You'll be reading through the first ten chapters. What? Uh, I can't probably this? know all of it anyway, but whatever. My God. Oh, only the oh, first ten. Just kill me already. Easy. You have an hour to go through everything, no talking with the others, M and Mr. Elderman? <sighs> what? So we are just reading by ourselves for the next hour? Uh no, thanks for reminding me. You'll also have to make sure no hypnos and go flying in my mouth. Those little things are a nuisance. I hate it when they get stuck in my teeth. What? Anyway, the reading starts now. Is he for real? Oh yeah, he's for real asleep. Hey, if I mess with his face right about now, would you butt in again? I mean, I don't like him, so not gonna stop you. But just remember, if you keep that up, it's probably not gonna end well. Well, I guess we'll see about that. Shh. There are people here who are actually trying to read. Okay. Um, sorry. Jeez, chill, short stack. <gasps> Go chill yourself. Which part of his hair should I get all iced up? Ooh, what if I do the whole thing? I could make him look like real life Elsa. Elsa? As in the Elsa from those Diddley movies? Yeah, like freaking Elsa. Hi, Thea and Zero. What do you need? I'm here to help. <laughs> Stupid robot with its annoying voice. Can't even get some shut eye. Has <sighs> it even been an hour? What's the time? <sighs> of course. God dang it, where's the freaking button? Every single time. Class? <sighs> Time's up. Okay, and judging from your faces, I'm guessing none of you actually read the chapters. 
But for the sake of fulfilling my duty, written in the teacher's handbook, do any of you have any questions about the material? No? Good. I have a question. Oh my god. You. You have a question? Yes. Do, do, do you do you have to ask it, uh, like, like right now? Uh, yeah. That's why I raised my hand just now. But the bell. <sighs> okay, be quick. What is it? Okay, so after I was reading the first 10 chapters and also glancing over the other 20 chapters of the book in the past hour, I realized that the book covers the War of the White Stone, the formation of the calm, and all that fun stuff. But shouldn't we start, you know, before that? What's this now? Well, I got into this school because it is one of the best, and because of its... inclusivity. So I thought we'd be able to learn more, not just things that are already taught in other schools. What do you want? Oh, well, I said it just now. I want to learn about the before everything is good stuff, like about Queen Aurora of Terra Noa who kind of pioneered Cypher's rights. I read a little bit here and there about her life's work, and I'm already fascinated. I truly think she played a huge part in the events that I are being covered I am gonna in. stop you right there, young lady. You see, what you want is way beyond the scope of this class. Um, okay. But why? It's just not relevant. How so? I don't get why one of history's most prominent ciphers is irrelevant. Even so, there are so many other important- If you have important a problem with the syllabus, Cypher, take it up with the school committee. Hell, take it up with the comm, even. I, maybe I will. <sighs> Admitting cipher history like this is incredibly inconsiderate, huh. too. Is it? Sounds like business as usual, then. Excuse me? What are oh, you- Oh, just shut up already, Cypher. No one cares about your stupid queen of granola or whatever. Oh, stuff it, brickhead. Like you've ever had a thought worth saying out loud. Ren, stop it. Please. No, I'm not gonna. I, I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh my god, Gray. Why are you apologizing? I'm being reasonable here. It's Mr. Elderman and this doofus here who keep trying to wind me up. I oh, get what you're what saying. What did you just say? So, Mr. Elderman... Care to explain what you meant with that last comment? Wasn't this meant to be an inclusive school? What? Are my suggestions too sensitive for this so-called inclusive school? Or do you personally have a problem with cipher history? I beg your pardon? Well, I think- Oh my god, why are you chiming in? Do you have a problem like that troglodyte over uh, there? I- I'm- I'm just trying to say, I agree with you. Did you just call me a troglodyte? Yeah, I did. Got a problem? Hmm? Oh, you're dead. You freaking cypher. Yeah, bring it on, Majelica. I'd like to see you try. I... <gasps> That's quite enough, you two. School bell has rung, so this class is dismissed. And the Enderman teleports away. <sighs> that was so not fun. He took my breath away and it was not in a good way. Yeah, why can't we have the history hunk? Ugh, tell me about it. Ren, that was... <sighs> you Ugh. died. Get off my back, Grey. Ren? That was, um... That was something, huh? Mm-hmm. So, who's up for some lunch?
Oh my god. How much longer do I have to wait? I need to be fed. I'm hungry. <sighs> Hold up. Uh, where's that button? Ah, here it is. Hi, Ross. The usual? You know it. Gotcha. Scanning. Scanning. Cypher. Student. Rebel Thompson. Searching database. Regular meal set. Oh, the regular? That must be like lobster at the school, right? Okay. Here you go, sweetie. <gasps> no one is making Rebel Thompson eat this disgusting slug. <gasps> Was she starving? <sighs> Where's the condiment station? It's over there. Next! Angelica. Sucks Third. being a cipher. Zero Thank God I'm not one. Searching database. Can you imagine eating that. disgusting slap every? Hey yo, what the fudge? Why am I getting this too? I'm just following orders, kid. Next. You know, you paid a ton in tuition for me to be here. This is ridiculous. Oh come on, Zero. Just suck it up. In all honesty, the food you got doesn't look that... bad. Oh... I don't know. Are we sure that's even food? <sighs> I guess only one way to find out. They are highly nutritious. I cooked them for hours. NEXT! If this is what I have to eat at lunch every day, I think I'm gonna pass. Searching database. Premium meal set. Oh, premium. You get the good stuff. All right. There you go, sweetie. Oh. Whoa, what? Well, I take back what I said. So this is what people mean by whitestone privilege, yeah? Not sure if I like the sound of that. White shard privilege? Don't think that's any better, but whatever. I guess you're right. How is this fair? It's not. But what's fair in life anyway? Uh, hello? Just embrace it. You mean like that? What part of that did you not understand? Speaking of uh, white uh, stone uh, privilege. Uh, don't. Oh, watch it. You're ruining everything. <laughs> Do me a favor. Go to the bathroom, find a mirror, and take a good look at yourself. <sighs> Unbelievable. They have no right to act like this. What do you expect? They all graduated from Rose Thorn Hill. They are the peaches, after all. The what now? The oh so famous peaches. Jada? Lucretia and Briar. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what was what? I'll keep up, Briar. Like I was just trying to warn her that she was spilling ketchup and mustard sauce everywhere. And then she just burst into tears. Yeah! That was so extra. Exactly. As if I'm the bad guy here, all I did was to save that walking disaster from making a huge mess. On these beautiful mahogany chairs. Hashtag save the mahogany. That girl's probably intimidated by you. I mean, she is a cipher. Is she? I couldn't tell. This school's making it hard to distinguish them. Well, I saw she had an ugly cipher bracelet thingy. Oh. Well, that explains that. Anyway, enough talking about commoners. I'm starving. Can we get something to eat? So, how do you feel about your first day here so far? Um, it was sort of 
overwhelming and confusing at first, but it's been getting better. Yeah, same on my end. I am glad I got to meet all the new people here. Well, except for maybe one person. And I suppose that is... Jada. I just... I don't get what her deal is. Like, oh my god. I mean, even now, why does it look like she's staring at me? Ugh, I just don't get it. How did she get a white shirt too? I should have been the only one. <sighs> Honestly. Yeah, she's nothing compared to you. I know literally everyone that's on my level, but I have never heard of her. I just did some quick digging, and let me tell you, she's got zero social media presence and has no appearances at any known Majelica's competition. Not even the ones that I don't count as competition. So you're saying she just kinda came out of nowhere? Oh, maybe she moved from another country? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem that way. And even if she did, I would have at least seen her at the International TMS Gala. The what now? Oh my god, Briar! The Teen Majelicus Showdown Gala. Something's definitely off about her, but I'm gonna figure it all out. Just like I always do. Gah, all this talking is making me parched. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get my special drink. I'm honestly looking forward to the next class. I mean, I have to, right? After that history lesson. Yeah. I don't think there's another class that could top that. Right? It's like, woof. <laughs> True that. Ugh, guys are such nerds. Stop talking so much about classes. Oh, well, I'm sorry for talking about school. At school. Come on, it's just the first day. Let's do something fun. Assume you're new to the city, right? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So I know this one super dope place. Normally we're not allowed in, but I've got some special connections. Okay. Yeah, I already got some of my guys to come with me. You know Jolton and Vulcan, right? Oh, um, right, huh. Um, I don't think Thea wants to go wherever you have in mind, man. What, you are spoke person now? No, I, I was just thinking, uh, uh, maybe you'd like to Go study together? Uh, would that be something you want to do instead? Bruh, no one wants to study on the first day. Stop being such a bore Okay, fest. okay, okay. I can speak for myself. Thank you very much. Appreciate the thought of what I should do from you both, but uh, like you said, it's the first day, so I think I'm just gonna chill. Ooh, this later. Our drink is actually By really myself. <gasps> Oh, oh god. My oh. Oh, god. god. Stupid. Ketchup and mustard. Ah, I'm gonna find that girl, I swear, and Are you freaking kidding me? Uh I You did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> you really think you were worth ruining my lunch? You know what? Sure, I totally meant to dump it on you. Of course you did! And I should have aimed straight for that fake shard of yours so I could wash that stupid white paint off. Ugh! I... I can't with you! Thea. What? For the record, I fell, and I lost my drink! I'm the victim here, okay? Ugh. What the heck is her problem? Can I just have my first day here in peace? No one's here to save you now, Cypher. Um, please stop. Oh, we will. As soon as you give us what you've got. And why would I want to do that? Let's just say... There's a price to pay for taking my seat and being freaking annoying in class. That's why you wanted lunch money from me. <laughs> That's pathetic. What did you just say? I'm just saying, aren't all Majelicas here, like, loaded? Why would you come to a cipher for money? Uh, uh, because... Just 
Just give me the money, and we'll be out of here. Right. I don't think so. I am not giving my money to some pathetic bonehead. Oh, that's it. I'm done, Cypher. You asked for it. Uh, oh my wh god. What? What's going the on? Come with me. Can't see a thing. Wait. Where did the Cypher go? I don't know, bro. Are you okay? Why did you do that? What? I didn't need your help. I had Caligo spray in my pocket. I was gonna use it on them. Oh. I... I'm sorry? Yeah, you should be. You ruined what could have been my... epic moment. Uh... Right. Ugh, whatever. Thanks, I guess. Oh, uh... <laughs> you're... welcome. So, what's your deal? Why do you keep helping me? Wait, what? Are you trying to balance out your karma with some good deeds because you used to be a douchebag? Or do you just have some weird cipher savior complex? I... I don't know. I guess... I just felt like I had to do something. You... a Majelica. Just felt like you wanted to help a cipher. No, I just wanted to help because I felt like you, as a person, could use some help. Oh. Okay. Well then, I believe we haven't officially introduced ourselves to one another. Not that it's a common thing for a Majelica and a Cypher to do, but... I'm Ren. Just your regular, everyday, normal Cypher. And I'm Thea. Just your regular, everyday, normal Majelica. That just happens to have the white shard. And is also looking totally drenched. Did you fall in a swamp or something? Oh, yeah. It was nothing. Just got a drink thrown at me. Oh. Who had the balls to do something like that? Ren. Oh, uh... I'm so sorry. If my sister said or did anything... Gray? I apologize. Gray, what are you doing? Oh, I, uh, I saw you with, um, you know. So I thought you were... Getting into trouble? Gray, you need to stop. What? This! I don't need you stepping into everything I do. It's annoying, okay? You're my brother, not my babysitter. I... I'm not trying to be a babysitter. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just wanted to make sure you're fine. And I am. Well, she's not. She got a drink thrown on her. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there something I can do to help? No, 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 no. What you need to do is go. Shoo, get out of here. Okay, but text me if you need anything. I probably won't, considering I'll be seeing you in like 10 minutes. I'm sorry about earlier. Ugh. Are you gonna get the situation sorted out, or what? Yeah, uh, probably. What? You need someone to dry you off or something? Um, no, I, I think I should be fine. I can dry myself. Ugh, fine. Let's go to the bathroom.
<laughs> Wait, that's what you guys did for the admission trial? Mm -hmm. Just filling out a bunch of confusing forms and getting interrogated for hours. Oh my god, Ren! You're almost late. Ray, I swear. Did you not see any of my texts? I did, but I chose to ignore them. Why would you do that? Um, I was busy helping this one right here dry off. Was that not okay with you? Um, no. That's, uh, that's completely understandable. Well, well, well. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future. Future like that. The burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Might be that. Look at you, all freshened up. Indeed I am, Zero. So? You ready to go pick a good seat for this next class? Oh, so now you care about classes, huh? No, I'm just asking that so we can both go sit at the back and ignore the teacher. <laughs> You're funny, but no thanks. You okay, dude? Uh, yeah, I am. Sorry. This looks like one of the many well-crafted molecular gastronomy dishes I've had. My dad took me to this fancy Michelin three-star restaurant last month. Oh my god, shut up. You're making me drool. I wonder if this is edible. It most certainly is not plant. I'll eat that. It looks freaking yum yum for my tom tom. Um, please don't do that. Bro. Do you think they would teach us how to make love potions? <laughs> oh, Vulcan. You need more than just that, buddy. What's that supposed to mean? The Persian class teacher better be some eye candy. This thing needs her after lunch dessert. Mm -hmm. Better be hot. Oh, I think I know who that's gonna be. They're gonna come in hot for sure. Y'all better have your bum stuck to a chair already, or you're gonna regret it. Gird your loins, peaches. My name is Velma O'Reilly, and I'm your teacher for this class. And just to be clear, Miss O'Reilly will be the only name that comes out of your mouth when you refer to me. Call me anything else? And you'll find yourself in detention. That's it? Just detention? Don't. Don't even try to test me, boy. You are not ready for that. None of y'all are. <sighs> I want to be like her. This is potion brewing. The basics. In this class, you will learn the properties, compositions, and the creation process of various fundamental potions. On top of that, we'll also be covering potion ethics and safety, particularly for those potions that you need to stay away from at all costs. Before we dive into today's lesson, let's go over a few class rules that I will need all of you to keep in mind. No using cell phones in my class. No talking to each other unless it's for class discussion. Do not eat or drink any of the ingredients or potions unless you want to die. And not because of the potion effects, but because of me. And most importantly, you may carry nothing out of this class.
especially things from this room. See that sign over there? Do not enter. I don't care if you are blind or can't read signs or if you sleepwalk on a regular basis. Don't ever make me catch you in there stealing my potions. Matt, they got a love potion in there. Up, 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 up. What did you just say? For this very first class, we will start with one of the simpler potions, a laser. Now, what is a laser? Mr. Esposito. Oh, um, Alexa, um, is, uh... Day one and you're unprepared? Care to help him out? Mr. Chevalier? Um, a laser is a potion that makes the user feel energized with no physical repercussion. The potion effect usually lasts for 24 hours and people tend to use it to skip sleep for a day to do more work. When the potion wears off, the user will not feel tired because of the sleep they miss and they can continue to work and sleep like how they used to. What a textbook answer. Maybe I should let you teach them instead of me, Mr. Chevalier. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be. Like Mr. Chevalier just said, a laser is a safe and helpful potion to consume. And what makes it even better is that it is not too hard to make. Which is why we are making that today. In groups, you'll each get a general potion recipe book and a rack of commonly used ingredients for potion making. It is your job to work with your group to make a bottle of a laser, like the one I have right here. Since it's just the first class, your performance will not be rated. But the first group who finishes making the potion correctly today gets a reward. Peaches, you heard it. We shall be the winning group. With that being said, let's get y'all into groups. Gamovio. What? <gasps> ah! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. This is gonna be fun. Now get to work in everyone. Well, clearly I'm not prepared for making this Allegra thing. But I think our group's got this. Because we have Mr. Smarty Pants here. <laughs> yeah. I wanna get my hands dirty. Winning does sound really nice. So, we are like counting on you, Cypher Boy. <laughs> um, I thought we were supposed to work on this together. Uh, duh. That's what's happening, Applesauce. Well, I'm down for anything. I'm just happy to be here to serve. I mean, work with you all. What's your name, by the way? Because I know that just calling you Cypher is such a non-woke thing to do. Yeah? What should I call you other than Mr. Smarty Pants? Oh, I'm gay. Um, I'm Gray. Yep, that's my name. Oh, that's such an adorable name! Also, can I just say, you look so much like one of my cousins. <laughs> I do? He has, like, the same hair color and hairstyle as you. And he's a bit shy and very smart. But then he's a Majelica. And oh! He's super gay! <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, we should probably start making the potion. Okay, Asparagus. Okay, we need this. And then we need that. Um, Jada? Don't you think it would be better if we work this out together? It would be better. Because that's what Miss O'Reilly told us to do. Thank you, Boba. Can't you see that I'm trying to get us to win? Yeah, but I think we can also achieve that as a group. Oh, so y'all are telling me that you have experience like I do. In making this very particular potion. 
Um, no. Nope. Not really. I have never made one. This will be my first time. Okay, we're done here. But I... What? I'm just saying. Miss O'Reilly specifically said that we have to work together. It would be bad if she found out you were going against her. Are you trying to threaten me? I'm just trying to do the right thing here, Jada. Which is? Working together. Listen, you can guide us since you've done this all before, and you'll just have the rest of us do the mixing. Teamwork. Following the rules, you know? Gah! Wow. Fine. Uh, Ren, you want to do the mixing? Heck yeah. Okay, I think the next thing we need is the pollen feathers. Right? Uh, where is that? You even know what you're doing? <sighs> of course I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like it, Avocado. Why don't you just step aside and let the expert here to take over? <laughs> I'm no expert here. Dude, stop saying that. I know you're good. Think I didn't notice the bracelet you got? Top of the ciphers, huh? <laughs> That's nothing. And actually, Aiden is doing a really good job of mixing. Wait. Way better than what stop. I. You got something on your face. What's going on here? It smells like puberty here. It's going well, Miss O'Reilly. Trying my best to lead my group to victory, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, did you just... Did I just see you put that in your mouth? What did I say? Don't shake your head, Missy. I know what I saw. Well, I think I found the pull'em feathers you need, anchovies. Drops of Panther's Bliss, you hear me? Wait, wait, that was already five! Oh, for God's sake, shut up. <laughs> Rude. Uh, okay, what's the next thing we need to add? That's Niagara's water. I like this ingredient the most. Can you hand me that, Thea? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Too dark. It's way too dark. No, 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 no. Uh, no, what's no, wrong, Boba? No, it, it's, it's wrong. Too dark. It should not be this dark. Oh my God, calm down and breathe. What are you talking about? What is way too dark? The, 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 the blue is wrong. We use the wrong blue what blue <gasps> the wrong blue we used the wrong blue uh, whoa what <laughs> you you grabbed the wrong blue ingredient you gave her the polypus blood instead of niagara's water what i how can you not tell the obvious difference between the two I i'm sorry i they look so similar. Peach Blaze, they look nothing alike. Yeah, Jada is right. The blue is much darker. Oh my god, we were so close. We would have been done already if you didn't freaking mess it up. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. So... Now what? Not sure if this will work, but... Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to fix this mess, Obs. Oh. It's, it's okay. back to pink now. Come through, girl. And it's sparkly. Miss O'Reilly, can you come over here? All right. 
What do we have here? We did it! As a group, of course. <laughs> so, we won, right? Because we're the first. Heck no! What is this? Some fairy vomit glitter mess? This is just, uh, what I call the, uh, Jada twist! Nuh uh. I'm not accepting this. <gasps> but. <sighs> well, we have time left. We can still win. I mean, none of the other groups. Yo, Miss O'Reilly, come take a look. Well. Looks like we have our winner here. Heck yeah. <gasps> we did that. Yes, oh we God. did. We're the winners. Shut up. At least our performances are being rated this time. <laughs> Am I right? How did you get two? Got the other by telling that cypher chick from our room that I'd buy her lunch. She freaking fell for it. Oh, <laughs> that's smart, bro. So, $100 for each. Any takers? Heck no, 100 I may be rich, but I'm not dumb. What? Thought you wanted to win these bad boys earlier. <sighs> I don't care for the prizes. Uh, I'm so mad my wing got stripped away because of that poser. Where'd your spokesman go? What? Uh, oh, you mean Aiden. Uh, he went to the bathroom. Oh, cool. Well, now that he's not here, let me ask this again. You want to go hang out to that place I was talking about later? I guarantee it's wicked cool. Uh, <laughs> didn't I already give you an answer to that? Pretty sure that doesn't count because Mr. Borfest was there. Uh-huh. Well, I can answer that question again. I think... I really want to hang later. By myself. <laughs> really? You're gonna be a bummer? I just think there's lots I need to sort out first. It's my first... <laughs> it's our first day here, after all. Exactly. What else do you have to do on the first day of school? Um, uh, like uh, a lot of stuff. Like what? Like, um, you know... Uh, oh! Oh! Hey, Elsa. Hi there. You need my assistance? Yes. Uh, what is something I have to do after class today? Oh, you should definitely report to the registration area at the dormitory to get yourself assigned to a room, as you are currently one of the only students that hasn't done that since you arrived here. Well, that sounds very important. Ugh. Just get someone else to do it for you. Uh, no. It's my dorm. I don't want to get stuck with it. <gasps> Sarah, watch out! Oh, what the heck? It was a little rocky, but I still count that as a grand entrance. Am I right, guys? <laughs> you okay, Aiden? Need a hand? No. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine, Mr. Moody. Thank God you dodged that, because Petra here would have crushed you. <laughs> Great reflexes, Thea. I really like that shield move you got. 
It's pretty slick. Um, thanks, Mr. Moody. Also, sorry about Petra. Don't know why she was going crazy at you. Like, what's up with you today, Missy? It's... It's fine. She hasn't charged towards anyone ever since she's been tamed. This is new. But hey, guess that's the beauty of cryptidology, isn't it? We observe behaviors and we form theories and explanations for them. Little by little, we get to learn a bit about each cryptid and maybe even new ways to apply that knowledge to make our lives a little bit easier. Wow, I can't believe I gave a monologue about this whole subject without even preparing for it. That was good, right? Sir, you're our cryptology class teacher? Duh, it's me, Malcolm Moody, here to lighten up all of your moods once again, on the same day. I swear this school only has like three teachers or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, why can't we get the nerdy Tom Holland? No, not Mr. Nerdy Tom Holland Nicholas Jones. Yes, he might be semi good looking. Man oh man, he doesn't skip leg day. But I'll tell you what, he isn't as fun as me. And how do I know I'm fun? Well. I make puns. And I don't use textbooks at all. No boring books for this class, guys. Okay. Cool. No books. Yay. I think not using a textbook in class is very cool and fun. Oh, thank you, Boba. My super fun cryptidology class relies mostly on case and field studies as well as demonstrations. Each class will get to learn about a new cryptid. And for our very first class, I've decided we'll get our hands on, not Petra. She's a bit too advanced for now, but instead, Demonic Squirrel. <gasps> the de Demonic Squirrel? Trying to kill someone, Mr. Moody? Oh, I once saw a TV show where the teacher tortured students with them on a school row in the first class. He got a ton of hate after that. No, 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 not Damon A. Scurro, guys. I'd get my license suspended. I'm talking about Demonic Squirrel. The what now? Demonic Squirrel! Oh! Demonic Squirrel. Just like its name, Demonic. Naturally, they're born to do nothing but to make your life a living hell. What? That's not good. But wait! If you manage to tame its demonic soul, they can become quite useful. A tamed demonic squirrel is very good at tracking objects. And they can also provide you with nuts when you're craving a little snack. Ew. Gross. So now, why don't you all get behind a station and I'll... Petra, you can lay over there. I think that's the button. Oh, let's see. Whoa. Each of you is given an untamed demonic squirrel who is kept inside a specially designed cage. They can see and feel us, interact with our power, but it won't be able to get out. Um, Mr. Moody, how are we supposed to, um, tame them? I was just about to get into that. While we do use magic and treats to help out with the process, the real key to tame a demonic squirrel relies in the mind. You have to overcome your fear towards them and also show them the strength you have in yourself. Establishing a fear within the demonic squirrel towards you 
tones their demonic soul, and it will cause a change in them. Like this. Oh. Its eye color is yellow now. It changes from red to yellow. Pair this up with a treat, and you'll be able to tame them successfully. Here, we use these nuts. Oh, where are they? <laughs> Got them. Now, a demonic squirrel naturally wouldn't eat them, but if a demonic squirrel who is in fear of you is made to take a bite of these nuts, it'll be hooked. Then all you have to do is keep rewarding these squirrels with these nuts, and you can get them to start doing things for you. So now, it's time for you all to try taming these little squirrels. Everything you need is already set up for you, so go conquer your fears, get creative with your specialty, and let's get these nuts going! To be bubble, get electrocuted, you dumb rat! I just realized you look so much like my friend Gemma. Submit to me, or die. Burn, baby, burn, demonic squirrel. I I am I doing this wrong? Why won't you eat the nut? Why does this keep happening? Uh, <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be willing to just eat the nut, would you? I mean, who doesn't like free food, right? Eat the nuts already! Ugh. Listen here, you little tree rat. I will not be disrespected by the likes of you, and I certainly would not let another thing stop me from coming out on top again. Either you eat this nut, or I make sure you get ground up and fed to the cyphers at lunch. Jeez. Yes! Good job, squirrel! You okay, Aiden? Uh, yeah, I... I yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, hey! Good work taming your squirrel so quickly. Huh? What? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I still. Huh? I guess I did. <laughs> Look at you. Finish the assignment without even trying. Maybe you should have the white shard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you better watch out. I might be coming for you like Jada pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems like most of you have managed to tame the demonic squirrel. And I was the first to finish. I noticed. Great job, Jada. So now, oh, what now? Oh, yes, the big finish. The what now? You'll see. Let me pick someone first. Hmm, who should I pick? <gasps> Is it a demonstration? I volunteer! Aiden, let's go with you, buddy. Uh, um, I... Come on, Ugh. don't be shy. Oh, uh... Okay. Aiden, you can stand there. See that mark on the ground? Yep. Perfect. So now that Aiden's in position, remember how I said the big finish? Well guys, here it is. <gasps> oh. Dang, that's big. I'm uh, Mr. Moody, I- You know what to do, Aiden. Same situation, except the scale has been upped and you're in the- cage now as well. Oh, uh, what? Well, it's sort of a cage because the squirrel won't be able to get out. You're currently standing inside of a magic circle that confines the squirrel. 
All right, Aiden, the stage is yours. Let's see how you're gonna tame the squirrel. Be afraid of it, Aiden. Remember, size shouldn't matter. Just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's any scarier. Conquer your fear. Make use of your power. Show that big squirrel all of the strength you've got. Let it fear you. Dang it. Why can't I? If a uh, if there was a perfect moment to do the thing, Aiden, this, this could be it. Um, Mr. Moody? Uh, Aiden? Uh, Mr. Moody? I, uh, I... <sighs> Once again, good reflexes, Thea. Aiden, are you good? Um, yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Mr. Moody, I, uh, I'm sorry. It's that, uh... okay, Aiden. I get the nerves. It's our first class, after all. It's really all right. Why don't you go take a breather, and we'll get someone else to finish the demonstration. Okay. Thank you, Thea. So, um, let's see who's going to be the lucky one. Oh, zero! Uh, sure. Hey. Hey. Thanks for the help earlier. No problem. There you go. That is how you do it. Good job, Zero. Everyone, let's give him a round of applause. We know what that means. That's the end of the class. And your first day here. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank God, finally. Have a good one, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. You, you okay? <sighs> yeah. I'll, I'll see you around. The next Majelica plays. Hey. Uh, oh. Hey, Ren. <laughs> Sucks they don't allow Majelicas and Cyphers to be roomies, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That sucks. <sighs> Can't wait to be rooming with a moron or a psychopath. <laughs> Hopefully not. The next Cypher, please. Well, catch you around. Good for you two! Getting to share a room together. Oh, don't be like that, Jada. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. Didn't he say they usually give something nicer to the white shirt holders? Ugh. I just don't know anymore. Almost everything today went south, and I don't get what... Actually, I know exactly why. Thea, of course. How can I forget about that? 
The one with the white shard? Oh, well, where's the other one? Is she here as well? Ah, there she is. Jada, isn't it? Yes, that is I. Perfect. You two, follow me. Oh my god, what is the smell? Ugh! What are you eating? Can you not? It smells disgusting in here. What? Do you not smell this? How am I supposed to sleep in this room? You are not eating that disgusting thing in here. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Now, as you should know by now, our school values excellence and rewards those who represent that. That is why here, top performing students, the white shard holders, get to enjoy a much larger and nicer solidarity room. Uh... That's cool, I guess. Yeah, this room has a really nice view and the bed is super comfy. I guarantee. Just what I like to hear. Now, sadly, there is only one of this kind of room left, but there are two of you here, so. What? Oh. What does that mean? Well, that means... One of you is going to get this super cool room. And the other is going to be uh, sharing that room over there with someone. Uh, like the rest of the students. Uh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would really love to stay, but I do got to go. Got to check and see what that Joey Exotica is up to today. You know? So, I'm going to let you cool cats and kittens figure this out. Uh, don't get too violent. Okay. This is my room. Uh, no. This is my room. Nah, -uh, it's obviously mine. Can't you see that my name's written all over it? <laughs> You're funny. Too bad I don't see it. Oh, you will once I stick my nameplate on. Uh, was that someone? Uh-uh. Come to think of it, this part of the dorm is awfully quiet. What are you doing? Claiming my room, Obs. <sighs> Well, I guess this is my room then. Hey, I'm your room. Oh. Long day there, eh, Rumi? Ma... Melissa... No. Melanie! Right? Already liking this thing we have going on. We're gonna get along. So well. Yep. Oh. Thea, please check the door. Your stuff has arrived. My stuff? Mm-hmm. They're all the personal belongings you dropped off before the trial. Huh. Enjoy the rest of your day, Thea. Uh, you too, Elsa.
Oh. Do I have more stuff? What? Did you just knock on my door? No. Did you knock on my door? Why would I do that? I don't know. Oh, what's that? Wait, isn't that... Shem... Sh <sighs> what? Sh She... she's waking up. Um, hold on tight, Thea. It's gonna be alright. This will all be over... soon. Well... Took you long enough. Sorry we had to put you to sleep. We don't want the others to find out about this. And... It's kind of a tradition. Uh... What's going on? <laughs> Sorry about that. You must be confused, but... Welcome to the Whitestone VIP Club. The w White Stone VIP Club? See, I told you. She doesn't even know what this is, and yet she has the White Shard. Oh, that's all right. We're here to educate. The Whitestone VIP Club is a club that consists of all the current White Shard status holders since the system got implemented. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. I'm Evangeline Wilkins, just freshly graduated. Harvey McCoy here, kind of the founding member of this club. I'm Phoebe Dunn, just chilling in my third year of school. Uh, hi, my name's Calvin Kind. This is my second year here. Well, um... I guess, uh, I'm- Thea, we know, and can I just say how fascinated I am to find out about this whole situation? Oh yeah, it's gonna be real interesting. What is so... interesting? You see, there's usually only one white shot holder per year, and whoever has it usually holds onto it until graduation. Well, except for one. What was the name of the girl you took over again? Ugh, Linux West, but who cares? She's a nobody now. Um, <clears throat> what happened to that girl exactly? Well, we removed her from our club when she lost to Phoebe, and I heard things went real downhill for her after that. Yeah, it was pretty pathetic. S so if someone loses the status at any time, they get kicked out immediately? Of course, that is why this whole Po number one situation is so intriguing. Right. Of course. Now, why don't we just cut the chase and get to the fun part, which is... Uh, I'm the initiation sorry. I hate to ask this, but what are we joining this club for, exactly? <laughs> To be part of the best of the best, of course. We get to hang out and support each other because... People like us, we're on the same level. We get each other. Plus, you'll get to enjoy tons of perks. Discounts, better services at places we've partnered with. Oh, and of course, premium access to Taskrat. Taskrat? Oh, it's a system to help us find the right cipher to do tasks. You will love it. It's a lifesaver. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I've got to get another rat. This morning, I caught mine eyeing on my new Tukey purse as she was doing the cleaning. Uh, Alright, no. enough of all the talk. We don't have all night. Let's get to the best part already. The initiation ceremony. 
Oh, I'm so ready to be initiated. Perfect. So, to become an official member of the club, and for good luck, you two will have to perform a gruesome, terrifying, yet honorable, blood ritual. B blood ritual? Uh, seriously? Yes, blood ritual. So, we've got everything you need here. And all you have to do is find your sacrificial lamb and perform the ritual. A sacrificial lamb? Oh, by lamb, we mean cipher. <laughs> we ain't got lamb here. S cipher? What? Mm-hmm. It's our tradition here. You can go for a random one. Well, of course, you can also do it on whoever you hate the face of the most. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you mean by no? No. This? Hey. This uh, is... Your shard. I get that you might still be a bit confused with everything, but this is our tradition. We do this every year. One blood ritual on one sacrificial cipher for every Oh my member. god, no! What the heck? Are you trying to kill us or something? I... I'm... I'm sorry, I... Actually... I'm not sorry. Not to a group of people who hurt ciphers for their own enjoyment. What? We don't hurt ciphers. That's against the law. <laughs> you guys were literally trying to make me do a blood ritual on a cipher just now. Okay, I, I know we said blood ritual. But it's just a term we use to make things sound cooler. We're just gonna have you put some pig blood on a cipher and give them a good scare. That's all. Yeah, girl, you're overreacting over such a minor thing. <laughs> I'm overreacting? It's okay, Thea. Do you want to just sit down for a sec? No, I'm... I'm gonna go. I don't... I don't want any part of this. you've been through some major stuff. Yeah, I did. You want chips? Okay, you've been staring at that bag for the last 10 minutes. What's going on? <sighs> Just lots of emotions going on. Why? I don't know if I should get into it. Okay, then don't. I don't care. got here I was really excited I told myself this is where I'm meant to be I'm not sure if I believe in that anymore I don't think this is where I'm meant to be why does that even matter if I can only be in places I believe that are meant to be for me, I would
wouldn't even exist. Like this place. It is not it. Inclusivity my butt. Yeah. But I'm still sticking around. Despite how problematic this place is, I know I'm still getting something out of it. Right. I... I don't exactly remember why I wanted to come here in the first place. I guess I was just holding on to the hope that this place is where I meant to be. Well, sounds like you just need to find a new purpose to stay. So, what would it be? I blame it on the stars, I blame it on the stars.